everybody, this is Ryan, I'm the Geeky Feet. Today we're going to start diving into the Power BI desktop. Um, in particular, I'm going to show you how to create a credit union loan dashboard. So if you work at a credit union, this video is really for you. I'm going to try to break this down into parts. There's a lot of moving pieces, but um, after you get through all these, you should have enough information um, and know how to get yourself started on building a really nice, robust peer dashboard. So here, the dashboard I have open right now is something, this is kind of the end goal that we're gonna create. And as you can see in this first um, little visual here, we have average loan balances by year. And then we have a particular, um, this is a specific credit union here. Uh, we can select different states and you notice how it cross filters. You know, I choose a state and it changes everything over here. It also changes what's going on over here. And this is dollar loans by state for 2016. Uh, as you can see, it's sorted. California has the most and Virginia. And then I also have here a, it's what we call a, um, not a KPI, but a card. And it will always hold the value um, steady. Um, we've chosen a specific credit union. Uh, and at the end of 2016, it had $6.4 billion in loan balances. So this is what our goal is. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do is get our data. And you can get this. It's available publicly on the ncua.gov website. And what we're looking for is call report data. And we want quarterly data. And once you get here, you have quarterly call reports. Um, if you're not familiar with this, this is these call reports have all the financial information. Um, it'll take your balance sheet, it'll take your um, income statement, it'll put in um, pretty much everything like that. It'll also break down the loans, you'll have delinquency, charge offs, um, terms, um, some weighted averages, things like that. So there's a lot of great information out there. So you can select anything you want um, and then download it. What I would recommend is just take the end of year and go as far back as you want. So if I selected this one and this one and this one, I could keep going on and on. You can see it downloading here at the bottom. And after I've selected everything, then I want to go back to my download folder and extract it because it's all going to be in a zip folder for right now. So let me go over there real quick. And here I did this um, several weeks ago, a few weeks ago, where we have all of our zip files and it's just as easy as clicking on the zip file, right clicking, right clicking and clicking extract all. You would do that for every single zip file that you downloaded. And once you get that done, you can now see into your individual folder. So the first one here looks like 2006. I'll open that. And there are quite a few different reports I can look at. This FS220 and then it's A, B, and C and so forth. So we're not sure which file we're gonna work with. Uh, so what we wanna do is we're gonna actually pull this account description um, file into Power BI it will tell us what's in every single file here. And then we can determine which one of these we want to extract. So if we fly over to the Power BI, let's go ahead and open that. So now what we want to do is go ahead and open that text file that we just located. So it's this one right here, account description. We open that. We'll click edit. And what this does, it gives us the account number associated with the different account names. There's a little description. And then it gives us the table name as well. Um, the rest of this information will tell you if it's annualized or not and so forth. But what we really care about is if we're going to do a loan table, very specifically, I think we want to scroll down um, I just know this by heart pretty much. It is the account, I believe it's 
A for the number of loans and 25B for the amount of loans. So those are the two accounts that we want. We found them, we've identified. So let's look at where what the tables are. FS220. So those are the files that we want from each year. Let's go back to the folder here. And what you would do is find the FS220. And actually it's not in here because I've already pulled them all out and I put them in a specific folder. Sorry, this one right here, FS220 Loan Info. Uh, as you can see, they're all named the same thing for every single year. It doesn't matter. All you have to do is um, drag and drop each of these years FS220 into these folders. Um, and it'll ask you if you want to keep both copies that you already have out there, say yes, and it'll just give the next um, FS220 a number next to it. So you see here I have 23 versions of it, uh, which means 23 years worth of information. So 23 years of ending loan balances for each year. So these are all the files that you want. Okay, so now that we know what table we want. We also know what specific account we want, which is account 25A and 25B. We can now go ahead and import that specific information. Let's go ahead and do that. New source. Um, this time, instead of going directly to a file, we're going to go to a folder. And if you remember right, I put all those files into this folder right here, FS220 Loan Info. Click on that. OK. And let's edit this. So the first thing to note, um, we're actually working in Power BI's version of Power Query. It'll be just like the Power Query, uh, pretty much that you have in the uh, Excel, uh, a few name changes such as uh, close and apply in Power BI is the same thing as um, close and load. But for the most part, it works almost exactly the same. So content, if you looked at my other Power Query um, videos, you know that to pull every all the different files in, you want to combine the files. It's evaluating. We we'll click OK, give it a few seconds. All right. Now at this point, we have all the information for all of those files. And if you can imagine, each one of these FS220 reports has one line for every credit union. So we're talking 6,000 rows, um, 6,000 rows times 23 files. So that's a lot of, of information. So. We really want to clean this up a little bit. So we're going to go to the choose columns function. And from there, we're going to deselect all the columns. We want the credit union number. We do want the cycle date. And then I think we just simply want to pull in account 25A and 25B. Click OK. All right. And we're going to change the type just a little bit here. And we're going to call this number loans. And this one dollar loans. So we know what we're working with. OK, I think we have everything we want. Um, let's just real quickly change the name of this to loan data. And then we will close and apply. OK, so at this point, we have our account description. Um, we really don't need to use this anymore. So if we wanted to, we could right click um, and we could hide this data set, um, the loan data we want. Uh, but now we want to have information on the credit unions themselves. So we're going to go back and pull in one file. 
There we go. Credit union branch information. We want to pull that in. We're going to edit. And again, we're in uh, something called Power Query, very similar to the Power Query in Excel. And we want to pretty much do the same thing we did with the loan file. We're going to choose columns. We're going to keep the CU number because that's how we connect this table with the um, loan table. So we'll keep that. Um, we don't care about the cycle date. But what do we care about? If you can look up here, um, we want the credit union name. Yep. Uh, maybe the site name to know whether or not it's a corporate office or a branch office. Maybe the main office and get some uh, address information in there too. So let's go to main office and then we'll take the physical address, city, state, and zip. Oh, forgot credit union name. I think that's good. And now let's go back in and let's, um, let's filter this to just the main office. Okay, and now that we have that, we can go ahead and delete it. And then we'll change this to address. We'll just rename the rest of these columns rather quickly here. Okay, I think we have everything we want. So we will change this to uh, CU info and we will close and apply. And so we have our two data sets here. We wanna connect those. So to connect, it's very similar to access. You wanna come over here to the left to relationships, click on this. Okay, so notice there's one table of the account descriptions that I, I hid. It still shows up here um, and it's grayed out. But here we have loan data and credit union info and notice it already created a relationship for me. So I don't have to do anything, but I will go ahead and delete it to show you how easy it is to connect two tables. Take CU number from loan data, pull it up to the lookup table, which is CU info. Good to go. We'll come back over here. And at this point, we've loaded the data that we want. Um, we'll go ahead and end the video for right now. Um, and the next video, we'll dive into some of the DAX formulas and some of the visualizations to get you started. So thanks for watching.